Welcome back to our channel. It's been challenging and it's been very hard, but I know I'll get through it," the 19-year-old said in the first edition of her YouTube vlog. Michael Strahan's daughter Isabella Strahan is attempting to retain a positive mentality as she continues to recover after having a brain tumor removed. In her very first vlog post on YouTube, How It Started, the 19-year-old opened up about being diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a common malignant tumor that forms in the cerebellum a region of the brain located at the base of the skull. Isabella, a model and college student, said her health battle has been tough and she doesn't feel like herself after treatment, but her viewpoint has ultimately altered from the experience. I just had a Sephora ad come out that I shot in May 2023. So that's incredibly thrilling, but I remember being so happy to go to the store and take a selfie with it and I can't do it right now because I don't really feel like myself or that lady in the ad, she admitted. These past two months, it's been rough, she continued. It's been challenging and it's been very hard, but I know I'll get through it. I know time will heal and things will get back to being. I can't really say normal because there's not really normal now in my life, but things will get back to being calmer. Isabella revealed that she initially began suffering symptoms of her brain tumor in September 2023 while beginning her freshman year at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. August I felt perfectly normal. The end of September, I experienced headaches, I was dizzy, she said. The biggest one is I couldn't walk in a straight line. That's why I felt I had vertigo. And then I would also wake up really nauseated and had to throw up most days. It just kind of progressed, getting worse and worse, she added. I dreaded waking up because I knew I was going to have to throw up, and it just wasn't really fun. Isabella ultimately visited Cedars Sinai for a thorough NRI. While there, physicians discovered she had developed a fast-growing tumor in the back of her brain. It measured four centimeters, larger than a golf ball, and the adolescent would need emergency surgery to remove it. The college student stated that she doesn't recall everything about her hospitalization, relying on her family and friends to fill in the blanks about her experience. In the clip, Isabella was accompanied by those closest to her while she recovered from surgery, even celebrated her 19th birthday in the hospital. Isabella who will start chemotherapy at Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center in Durham, North Carolina, next month, thanked her loved ones for their support and generosity while she recovered, noting how her perspective has changed and the little things don't really matter in life. I just hope anyone who sees this knows that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that things will get better because every day is another day closer to getting better and closer to feeling better, she said. Progress takes a lot of time. Try to see the positive things. Isabella is one of Strahan's four kids. The former NFL player had two older children, Tanida, 32, and Michael Jr., 29, with his first wife, Wanda Hutchins, before he welcomed Isabella and her twin sister, Sophia, with his second wife, Jen Mugley. Michael Strahan's daughter, Isabella, is celebrating her final day of radiation therapy after undergoing emergency surgery to treat a malignant brain tumor in October. The 19-year-old student chronicled the big occasion in a video broadcast of her YouTube account on Tuesday that saw her get ready in the morning before driving to the New York Proton Center to have her last treatment. I'm very excited to finally be done, Isabella told the camera. She continued, it's been a long six weeks and I'm very happy to hopefully heal my head after all of this because the side effects and everything get to you and I'm hoping I won't be dizzy. After completing her final radiation treatment, Isabella came outside to see her family and medical staff members all shouting for her and waving joyful signs. She then got obviously sad as she hugged her twin sister, Sophia, and dad. Another clip shows the moment Isabella, clutching a small bouquet of flowers, rang the bell to indicate the conclusion of her treatment. So excited to ring that bell, she remarked. Never thought I'd be ringing the bell. Isabella closed the day by having Thai food with her family and, in a follow-up footage, revealed that she was preparing for her Good Morning America interview with her father, which aired last week. On GNA, Isabella stated that she first began to feel headaches, vertigo, nausea, and a loss of coordination shortly after starting school at the University of Southern California last fall. After a series of testing, she was diagnosed with a medulloblastoma and underwent emergency surgery to remove it. I don't really remember much, I just remember trying to figure out how to get to LA ASAP. Michael remembered of the incident. It just doesn't feel real. Isabella remarked that part of the reason she launched her YouTube channel was to provide an honest reflection of what it's like to live with cancer as a teenager and to provide comfort to those who are going through the same thing. 
She is slated to undergo chemotherapy at Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center in North Carolina in February. You keep on living, Isabella. You're inspiring us every single day we're around you, and we love you. We're here for you, and you've got this, her dad added. In 60 or 70 years, you'll be here, baby. Morning TV personality Michael Strahan and his 19-year-old daughter, Isabella, have opened out about her recent brain tumor diagnosis in an emotional interview with Strahan's Good Morning America colleague and cancer survivor Robin Roberts. She's always been strong, and this is something that is so personal. Michael stated on Thursday's broadcast of GMA while seated next to Isabella for a pre-recorded chat with Roberts. I'm extremely proud. Isabella said that she's currently feeling good and excited for this full process to wrap, so she can get back to school at the University of Southern California, where she first experienced severe headaches, vertigo, and nausea, and a loss of coordination shortly after beginning classes in the fall of 2023. On October 25, Isabella said the struggle became too much to handle, finally consulting a doctor after she spat up blood. After a set of testing, she was admitted to Cedars Sinai Hospital, where she was diagnosed with medulloblastoma and underwent emergency surgery to address a 4-centimeter tumor growing at the back of her brain. I don't really remember much, I just remember trying to figure out how to get to LISAP, Michael said of the ordeal. It just doesn't feel real. A mentor rehabilitation, which includes ongoing support from her twin sister, Sophia, Isabella created a YouTube series chronicling her journey, which she hopes gives a grounded perspective on living with cancer to other young people going through the same thing. Let people see there is hope, and you have to go into every day with the best attitude, which is what she does, Michael said of his daughter's willingness to share her journey with others, later adding, in a lot of ways, I'm the luckiest man in the world because I've got an amazing daughter and I know she's going through it, but I know we're never given more than we can handle and that she's going to crush this. Isabella closed the interview through tears as she remembered a piece of advice Sophia told her. She said, you have to keep living, don't stop, just because this is happening. Michael turned to take his daughter's hand as he encouraged her to keep her head up. After she completed the first round of treatment, which included physical rehabilitation, she had to relearn how to walk, as well as radiation. She'll next get chemotherapy in February at Duke Children's Hospital and Health Center in North Carolina. You keep on living, Isabella. You're inspiring us every single day we're around you, and we love you. We're here for you, and you've got this, he said. In 60 or 70 years, you'll be here, baby.